Hello my loves, welcome back. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so today we're gonna be doing a pick a card reading. Now, I did not plan to do this at all. In fact, I'm sitting at my desk and what I was doing before I even decided to share this was I was doing like a routine check-in that I do for myself. While I was pulling the cards, even setting them up, I started realizing and really feeling strongly within my core that the messages in the cards that I was pulling were not exclusively for me that I should actually share this message with you guys. So I'm gonna put myself on hold for right now and give this message to you. I'm gonna give you um, a chance to find which one you are pulled towards the most. Keep in mind that this is what you need to hear right now. I do wanna say that as I was sitting with my guides and my intuition and really connecting with my higher self and with the divine, I felt that you might actually have a question that you wanna ask or a question that you would love to hear some, um, get a response on um, an answer that can help you. And if you do have a question on your heart, if there is something that's been burdening you or troubling you or making you feel really bound up and kind of tangled, then this would be a great, a great chance, opportunity for you to ask that question. All right, so I'll give you a chance to pick your cards. I have not seen what these cards are showing outside of the ones that are upright and even the fact that they're upright was not my choice it kind of i just felt really called and guided to flip them upright so choose how you will there are no mistakes and um i'll meet you at your timestamps, and the timestamps are down below all right let's go ahead and get this party started let me put these together Virgo vibes, stack these up nice, 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 nice. Okay, so for those of you guys that picked, it's not only about being right. We have sad embrace. Make the effort. I'm gonna put this here, because I feel like, <gasps> oh, you know what? This kind of, the vibe that kind of gets this, like what I'm getting from this, even when I look at this naturally because there's children, it kind of feels like someone, it kind of feels like when someone does you a disservice, like they run and go tell, tell on you or they run and they go do something and it ends up like punishing you in some way, meaning like it ends up making you feel bad. It ends up making you feel sad and like I don't want to say abandoned, but you know when kids are playing around, someone breaks something, and your brother or your sister sees it, and then they go run off and tell mom and dad, and now you're in trouble, and now you're mad at your brother or your sister for going to run off and go tell them, and then now you're sitting in punishment. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting here. It's safe for you to love. Even as I'm looking at this, I see the woman on the horse, and this guy watching her. It feels like someone... Well, let's see. Yeah, flirt. We have flirt here. Then we have fellow travelers. So I'm definitely seeing this connection to others here. Impassy, is that the right word? Reflect and redirect your energy and then support is all around you. Messenger of water. So this is the page of cups. Change. Archangel Michael. Truth and integrity and the six of pentacles. So right away, you know, I, I stand by what it was that I was originally feeling. It feels as though with, um, it's not only about being right, make the effort, it's safe for you to love, sad embrace. This is kind of like, all right, now that we did that, it's after, it, what this kind of gives me, what this vibe is kind of giving me is after an area, a space where someone tells on you, abandons you, does something that you don't like, does something that makes you feel bad. Even if it was the truth, that's a thing. It, it, even if it was the truth, even if it was something that you needed to hear, even if it was something that you need to experience, there's still this like sulking energy, meaning like you're sitting in this space of like, I'm still upset, I still don't like that. I feel like that's not the end of it, whatever it is. I'm using such a tiny metaphor 
like such a trivial metaphor, such a childish metaphor, not because the universe or the divine or your angels and your guides are telling you that your disappointment is trivial in the matters of things, but I just feel like it's not the end of the story. It continues on and you're going to quickly forgive or quickly move forward. In fact, if you don't feel like you're moving forward, you're really on the brink of moving forward into the next thing, even with whatever this is. I feel like even with this card, it's not only about being right. It's interesting because what I feel like when I see this, it's about learning the lesson. It's about hearing the truth and then operating with integrity. Integrity means that what you say, what you do, matches your actual intention. And that's a really tough lesson for a lot of people to learn is, you know, because we speak so much sometimes and we'll be like, oh, I really like this person or, oh, I want to do this or, yeah, I did this. And it, sometimes we almost exaggerate or we speak from a space of wishful thinking or we exaggerate. And what this has learned you, what this has taught you is that, you know, it's it's more, you want to speak like, you want to speak the truth. You want to tell the truth. You don't want to exaggerate. You don't want to make it more colorful than what it is. And then you have to ask yourself, why did I feel the need to um, sell myself so much? Why did I feel the need to paint a more colorful picture than what it was that I actually experienced? This is almost giving me Instagram vibes. This is almost giving me like people watching on Instagram and you might share um, a more colorful representation of your life when in the reality is it might not be that way You know what I mean? So there's this like component to it not to say that that's everything But there is this component to it And I feel like when you do that when you're not showing like you're not representing your truth You're you're doing it at very colorfully, but you end up separating and separate it Well, why did I say that twice you end up separating and pulling away from the things that are actually divinely yours that are uniquely yours because you're painting this elaborate picture that is actually deceptive. Now I don't feel as though you're intentionally trying to deceive anyone and I don't feel like whoever this is is trying to deceive you. I just feel as though it's really stepping into your truth and moving from a space of integrity. And again, I don't feel like people, whoever this is, I don't feel like it's a conscious decision to hide the truth of who you are or to you know, not tell all or reveal all I just feel like it's just I don't know why I'm saying cause and effect but just natural like causes like natural things that we do I feel like this card here fellow travelers support is all around you and then it's impasse am I saying that right word right you guys you could feel free to comment down below reflect and redirect your energy this is really about reflecting what you're putting out there, reflecting your truth, reflecting the messages that you're putting out there, reflecting on how you are putting your energy out there. Is it an actual representation of what is it you're feeling? Some of you guys, you literally don't feel called, you don't feel comfortable with sharing your authentic voice, your authentic, you know, um, self. But the thing is, is that when you do that, even as I'm looking at this card, when you do that, you'll see other people who will come to you like you're like a gold, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know what I mean? And people will find you. People will come to you. And so it's not, that's, the, that's such a powerful message. It's not about, it's not only about being right. It's not only about getting the perfect recipe. It's not only about being the perfect person. It's not only about, you know, having the perfect Instagram. I don't know. It's like this image. And I don't know why I'm getting like Instagram vibes off of this. Um, so this is the thing is when I see it's safe for you to love, I'm really feeling like it's safe for you to be seen. It's safe now for you to be discovered. It's safe now for you to share with other people and make the effort towards that. Make the effort towards allowing yourself to be seen so that other people can find you so that you can find certain aspects within yourself. And then also that you can find, you know, this. Um, new passion, new rediscovery of life, new truth, right? And I really, when I see the word flirt, I feel like you're romancing that thing. Not to say that it's romance, so to speak, but it's about, 
you know, falling in love with life again, falling in love with others, not just romantically, but platonically, enjoying life. Because sometimes I feel like what we put out there, again, it, it almost separates us from everyone else because you end up being like, oh, she's so busy, oh, life is great, oh, you know, this is what she's going on. But in reality, you might really been feeling like this. You know what I mean? And it's this, this voice that you put out there, everything is fine. If everything is not fine, go ahead and talk about it because the rainbow brings healing. Right? So I feel like you have to kind of redirect here. Even Archangel Michael showing up for you guys shows you that, yeah, it's it seems like it's small. You know what I mean? It seems like it's insignificant, but it's actually pretty significant. And this is something like Archangel Michael comes through and he destroys and crushes the illusion. Oh my God. He will crush out the illusion. He will crush out the challenges. He will crush out the weakness. He will crush out the obstacles, the opposition. So I'm really feeling like you have to be open right now to this level of change in your life, to really changing, kind of shaking things up and getting back out there again, getting back out there. Even as I'm looking at this, right, you see this little messenger, messenger of, what is this, water. I love this tarot deck. It's good, the good tarot. But this little seahorse is here and he's so tiny. He's so tiny, but his intentions are pure and even in his little tininess he packs a powerful message he's like me even in all of his little tininess he is so powerful and the message is that is that he's going to give to you and make himself known she's you know probably living her life doing her thing i'm almost getting like queen vibes and even her being a queen there's not a lot of things there could be a lot of loud noise or a lot of loud people or things like responsibilities commitment that are pulling your attention but it's this tiny little seahorse that catches her attention somehow, almost divinely, like divine intervention. And it's this tiny little voice that you hear. And he, when he shows up, when you hear him, it will change the rotation of your planets. Like literally, it'll change how you, how you move. It'll change, um, it, and it's more than, I'm really getting like a, a reawakening. Like it really calls, this awakening comes from your perspective shifting and changing from a tiny message. It could even be this um, tarot reading, you know? But I just feel like it's this tiny thing that really changes it up and says, you know what? You haven't really been honest with yourself or maybe honest with others. Maybe you've been so burn burdened, again, by your um, responsibilities, your work, your life, your children, whatever. Your relationships, it's, they're all good things, but it's like you kind of need to realign again and refocus. And Six of Pentacles, here is the Six of Earth. This comes after feeling like left out, abandoned. You know what I mean? That very much the sad embrace type of energy. And something comes in and drops one more coin into your piggy bank and you start feeling like, okay, let me get back out there again. This isn't the end of the journey for me. This is only the halfway point. So that's what it is I'm seeing for you. I don't know how that message will resonate with you, but I do feel like with the flirt card, I feel like there's some new life, some definitely some big changes that are coming through. I don't mind shuffling and seeing what else you have here. Yeah, see, Ace of Ace of Pentacles. It's like a new creative something. This is that. <clears throat> this is that coin that drops in after the five of pentacles or drops into the five of pentacles saying that You have to like reconnect again. Yeah four of pentacles. It's what you've been holding on to It's I'm not happy with this and high priestess is higher intuition. So it's so okay I just got this really really loudly and clearly especially with the number two All right, so there's sides of this that you do know of that are that you're aware of and there's sides of you that you're not aware of that's why it feels like it's, you know, blind to you. That's why you were not, that's why, that's why I don't, like, I'm not punishing you right now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not yelling at you for being like, well, why aren't you speaking the truth? I feel like there's sides of you that you did know or sides of this thing that you did know, but there's a lot that you didn't know. And you can't hold yourself accountable. Like, you can't punish yourself for not knowing what you didn't know. You know what I mean? Even now there might be aspects of you that you don't know, but you're about to discover. Or even now there might be aspects of this thing that you don't know that are hidden from you. Not cryptic in a bad way, um, but you've been holding on to these truths and knowing that it's not serving you anymore. So even when I'm looking at the number two, I feel like you're really stepping into the space of this truth. 
it's this little messenger that comes through and he speaks to your heart. Like I'm really getting a sense of heart healing, heart health, heart opening, reopening after feeling like really abandoned. And I feel like you're going to, it's just this little tiny guy. Like it's so crazy to me because it's this tiny little seahorse that comes in. Even if you look at seahorses, if you look, if, if let's say this is your animal totem right now, they carry so many seeds within them. Like little um eggs and stuff and the father the masculine figure carries the eggs you know what i mean and it's like pausing for a second and seeing what it is that you're holding within your heart your tiny heart holds so many truths holds so many different like holds such a powerful vibration and i feel like that's what's being awakened and it comes from one tiny revelation so it's not that you didn't it's not that you didn't like that it's bad that you didn't know this is like again if there's some aspects of your life that have been a mystery to you or let's say you're dating someone or wanting to date someone and and you don't know who they are like they're very like much an enigma they're a mystery what are you doing like who are you you know what i mean it's like there's some aspects that they're holding on that they're not revealing to you. So you can't be mad at yourself for, for being qu curious and wanting to know what's going on in their world. Like, but at the same time, you're probably not supposed to know. Maybe, who knows why? You know what I mean? But if you were to know, it would create very much heart suffering for you. But stay focused because you're going, you're, you're supposed to get this messenger of love right now. That's where you're at. And it, if it's love, then it's love. It, okay, see, now I'm hearing. I like, I'm like hearing it's something you need to hear because even as I said that I heard like ringing in my ears, like bells in my ears. It's something that you're going to hear, a tiny, tiny message that changes the game and it opens your heart up. It's heart healing, heart health, heart like, okay, I needed, I actually needed, you actually needed to be in the dark about certain things, especially with the high priestess because not everything for, is for you to know right now. You're really stepping in, whatever this is, what's coming through my love. You know, it's good. It's good that you were in four of pentacles. It's good that you were in four of cups. It's good that someone wasn't seeing you. It's good that you weren't happy with the situation because it's literally not about you getting it right all the time. It's about the truth. It's about the awakening. It's about integrity. And things have to move with integrity. If they're not, the universe is not going to punish you and allow you to experience something that would be painful to you. Un like needless pain, pain, like pain and, or suffering. So I'm really seeing like you're learning, you're coming back into a space where, or maybe someone else's, where they've been holding on and protecting themselves and really almost allowing themselves to be bored, almost allowing themselves to be complacent because they were not ready. And now there's this little messenger, this little ringing in the ears, this bell start ringing and your heart opens again. Your heart is now healed and now your world is changing. Now everything starts, you start lighting those matches and they start taking off now. You can light a million candles and have a romantic night with one match, with one match that you strike and that's what I'm seeing. Wow, okay. Well, that was, that was group number one, I guess. <laughs> that's incredible, I love that. All right, I feel like I've got this like pile, like this stack of cards just, I hope this doesn't collapse. That was a beautiful message. That was a beautiful message to start. Loving it. All right, let's do pile number two. You have more options than you realize. You, as I'm saying that, I want to be like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Like, okay, like there's this level of, okay, look at this, metamorphosis. What does that even mean? You have more options than you realize. There's more to this than meets the eye. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them, and you can. I'm getting a sense of like, <laughs> like very like indignation, is that the right word? Like when you're stubborn? What does that even mean? This could be the one. Why do I feel like you guys are being stubborn right now? Like you're like, I'll believe it when I see it, Jess. You won't even believe it. <laughs> All right, cool. Confidence. Harmony. Intention. Messenger of Earth. I'm going to put that with Pate. This could be the one. If you hear snoring in the background, it's Franklin. I'm not even kidding. Um, voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. This goes with harmony. 
solitude i'm putting this with you have more options than you realize wow and then the chariot i'm putting this with metamorphosis and intention so these go together wow okay oh you know what else goes with chariot confidence okay so let me start with this messenger of earth the page of earth and this could be the one this is something and it's so funny because I'm actually getting um, like how I was feeling where you're like, like, what does that even mean, Jess? Like, what does that even mean? I feel like this almost is giving me very teenager vibes. It reminds me of the first pile that there's this level of like stubbornness and whatever, like, or I can't believe you did that or I can't believe this happened. This reminds me of like teenager that's like, whatever, I'll believe it when I see it. Like, I don't care. Like, you do care. <laughs> like you do. But I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. This is someone who's undergone such a journey, such an incredible journey. And there's a level, it's not even exhaustion. It might be exhaustion, but I'm getting this sense of, you know, it's just like, I'm tired. Like, okay, I'm bored. I didn't like this. Things have been the same way. Now you expect me to believe it because I'm tuning into this pick a card reading and Jess is pulling these cards. So now you expect me to believe it. But really it's like, have confidence in the intentions that you put out there. Have confidence in what it is that you've created. Have confidence in how things can change. Even if you think about this, metamorphosis, if you think about a caterpillar and a butterfly, and now you guys are probably like, ugh, and now you want to talk about caterpillars and butterflies, like how cliche. There's this sense of like, yo, whatever, like, and that's fine. Like, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at you because I'm the first one to feel that way sometimes. A lot of times but there's this sense of completion there's this sense of a cycle and no cycle can be rushed even with intention it's like oh wow see voyage of the heart and the chariot and even harmony <sighs> it feels like things can't happen before their time like it's in divine timing that they happen in the order that they come through and with the metamorphosis card, it's like, okay, now it's the time. Now this is your moment. Now this is it. Now this could be the one. This could actually be the one. And this could be some, to me I'm getting, this could be the bell that hits. Like this could be the idea that breaks, you know, breaks all of the bar barriers. This could be the relationship of your dreams. This could be the moment. This could be the activity. There's this sense of, this is what you've been setting the intention on, this is what you've been manifesting, but while that happens, allow things to kind of align. Allow things to align. Even with this card, Voyage of the Heart, you have been go undergoing this journey to get to this point now. And with the chariot, it's about having separate things. The What you know, what you don't know, because this reminds me very much of the cards, the people that pulled for group number one, which is there's aspects, you know, shadow and light. Um, things that you're aware of, things that you're not aware of. And those are things that are intuitively felt. And you can get really frustrated having to navigate both of those worlds, but you still have to learn how to work with both of those things. It's very high, very high priestess vibes. I'm surprised that you don't have that. Even with the high priestess, look at this, you have more options than you realize. There's two separate things, or there's several different things. Because literally, and they could be polar opposites. You have to learn how to merge both of those polar opposites so that your intention can manifest. Emphasis on the word intention. So when the chariot card shows up, it's about your will matching you know, your words, like your intention matching your will. And those two things come together in order to create movement, harmony, but they have to be harmonious or it will topple over. It won't be able to manifest. When you've perfected that, no matter how frustrating and annoying it is, when you perfect it, that's when it comes in. That's when the messenger comes in and says, hey, you, you rang, you called, I'm answering. And now it shows up to you and it says, this could be the one. And you're like, like literally, I, okay. But this is what you've been setting intention for. So have confidence and receive it. Have confidence and maybe for some of you guys, I'm feeling like you actually, it's not that you're the messenger or yeah, it's not that there's a messenger coming to you. You are the messenger. So you're gonna be giving a message. Yeah, so I just feel like 
Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's not just you waiting. I feel like you might actually be the one to make the move. You might be the, I really feel that way, actually. I feel like you're the one to call the shots. I feel like you're the one. And you have to have confidence in your ability to do this. This is not something that you fake. You can't fake the funk. You have to really step into your heart, your heart spirit, and speak your truth. I am actually without a fraction of a doubt. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that it's you who actually has to make this move. Let's say this is um, love relationships. Let's say this is partnership. I feel like um, this is, let's say if you're new in love or wanting to date, then this is you putting that profile out there. It almost gives me like Bumble vibes where the female makes the first move. Most predominant, um, most of my people who are watching my YouTube channel are women. But let's say you're a man, You have, then you have to make the move. It's Whoever this is, is the one that has to speak up. And it's the person that might freak you out the most. And that's the thing. Like sometimes when we see something that we've been setting intention for, that we've been working on manifesting or working on working our magic, putting out prayers, writing intentions, whatever. When it manifests, sometimes we have this space in our heart that says, oh, this is too good to be true, or this, perf this person is so perfect, they would never want me, or this job is amazing. But this literally is the one. <laughs> like, this could be the one. This could really be the one. And the only way to know that is by putting yourself out there because your heart is truly, even if you look at this card, she is feeling called from her heart to speak up, to work her magic, so to speak. And if you're not setting intention, then what are you doing? Set intention. Speak from your heart. Put that truth out there. That way this chariot can start moving and things can align. If you've already put that, that spirit work out there, if you already set, started setting intention, then you're good. You know what I mean? I don't feel like you have to tweak it anymore unless you feel called to tweak it. But these are things that you know within your heart. But look, it's this card of solitude here. This reminds me of me. <laughs> like when I set intention, right before I start working my intention, I take a good chunk of my time to be by myself. And the reason why I do this is because I don't want to be distracted by like noise that doesn't serve a purpose. I don't want people, I don't want music in my ears. Um, I don't want to hear from people. I don't want to answer my phone. I don't, I can't send text messages. I can't do work. I can't do readings for others because I'm focusing on me, my desires, my ambition, and what's next for me and putting and working my magic, focusing my intention, right? Making sure that my vibes are high. So you need that. So anything that does come into your space, even, I don't know if you can see this, but she has this little bird on her shoulder. He's not creating a distraction. He's actually creating little hints of, okay, say this, speak this. This is something that you've been asking for. Write that down, put that out there. That's what I'm seeing for you as well, is you're taking some time out for yourself in order to manifest, to conjure up, to set intention, to write it down. Then let's say you can use music in order to hear the call, in order to help to magnify your intention, magnify your will. You can do things like that or write it down. So even journaling or anything like that, whatever it is that helps you to magnify your intention. The next thing when I see Voyage of the Heart, this is the journey um, from your heart. And we also have this ship here. Love flows through you and to you. But in order for you to receive it, in order for you to give it, it has to be harmoniously balanced out, right? So I'm just feeling like and the card harmony here. And I'm even seeing this as like music. So you guys might be using music in order while you're in your quiet space to set intention. So different songs that mirror your heart. You know what I mean? For me, like lady, the great ladies of jazz, Ella, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, um, Nina Simone. I mean, these are people who, um, who Sam Cooke, these are people who sing to my heart before I set intention as I'm working my magic. And, and guess what? Every time I do it, it appears to me. And there's moments when I have to be the one to speak out and there's moments where it presents itself to me without me having to do anything. But I really feel like this card is saying you might have to be the first one to call the shots. Let me read this again. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone. See what I'm saying? Remember how I was saying like you guys had this feeling of like, um, like frustration, like I'm annoyed. I'm angry, I'm irritated. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them and you can. So it's like literally take that time out, that quiet time in order to reconnect 
if this is um, a relationship or a connection, realize that the person that you're in a relationship right now is the one. So don't be hard on them. You know, don't don't beat them up all the time. Don't speak bad over them. Speak highly over them so that things become more, give them confidence. Speak, and maybe it's a friendship. It could be anything. Give them life. Give them, you know, what they need to succeed. Let's say this is your children. Maybe they've been doing everything on their own. Maybe they, you don't realize like they could be really overwhelmed. So really give them, like speak life over them. I'm really getting this um, sense of, it's the words that, that that is that you're saying. So what others are hearing. This could be the universe, this could be the other. But I feel like you really have to um, speak from your, like speak from your heart. Put it out there. Speak up for yourself. Assert yourself. Some of you guys might be singing. Maybe you've been so isolated, pulled away. Maybe that's why music is coming through. Maybe you've been so pulled away. And it's like, let people see you shine. Let people see both sides of you. This side of you. And have the confidence to do it. Because this is something that you've been wanting anyways. It's very throat chakra. Like, I'm getting a lot of throat chakra vibes here. Okay, so I did this for the other group. Where I shuffled and pulled a card. An additional card. So let's see what we got here. This um, card deck that I'm working it with right now is the Good Tarot from Colette Baron Reed. Yeah, Queen of Earth. See, you have a lot of Earth energy around you. Even that. Look at this, you guys. Even this little butterfly is on her shoulder. It kind of reminds me of the Solitude card where you both have these little butterflies or little messengers on your shoulder speaking to you, giving little messages, transformation, undergoing transformation, the metamorphosis. It's this change of you stepping into your truth and being seen and being heard more specifically. Oh, oh, oh. The word that just came through is destiny. This is a part of your destiny. Oh my gosh, you see this? Seven of, seven of earth. Even this, all right, check it out. He's got another little messenger coming up to him. A little winged messenger. This looks like a fairy, though. It is, yeah. It's just like, you know what? I've been, it's really like examining and seeing in this um, solitude space. Interesting. And one more. I'm just curious. The other thing that just came through is the deer. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like deer when they're little fawns and they're they're so quiet, they're camouflaged, they're hidden because it's for them to be hidden in that moment. That's a part of the metamorphosis. It's for them to be quiet, it's for them to be hidden because if they're be, to be seen, they're like defenseless. But at a certain point, at a certain time, they have to come out, they have to go out and they have to like find a mate or, you know, be deer, grown deer. And I feel like you're hearing this call to really come out of that cocoon and share your voice, share your light, and make yourself known. Allow yourself to be seen. And I feel like you're looking at everything and you're finding all the reasons why you're like, no, I'm not ready or no, now's not my time. And it's like, see it that you are. Yeah, it's your fear. It's your own fear, your own, like, is it my time? What if they, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Yeah, what if? But don't worry about the what ifs. Don't spend too much time in solitude. Even in the solitude card and metamorphosis and all these little butterflies, it's the caterpillar that stays in solitude, stays in the cocoon, kind of protected. And there's a time and a place for it, but at some point it's time to come out. And I feel like your time is now. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next group. And the group for you is Pucker Up Buttercup. It's very sweet, this card is. Do you know what I'm getting from this? And this is kind of weird, but this is what just came through. Pucker up buttercup, it's like, be careful who you're kissing. You know what I mean? And this is, maybe it could be romantic, but um, it's just like, just be careful what you're being intimate with. Be careful what is, and, and this is not, again, this is not just romantic. This is all things. Be careful what you're putting in your mouth. <laughs> um... <laughs> that sounds weird, but be careful what you're consuming. Be be careful what 
you're allowing into your energy. Be careful what is going into your body. Like, be very careful. Pucker up buttercup. It's like, what, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's like these swirls. It's like, wait a minute, let me just pause. Let me pause. So puck, pucker up buttercup is not a, a bad card, but I just feel like, be careful. Be careful. I don't know why. Be fair and reasonable. Being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration but being generally kind will make you a total love magnet. Emphasis on the word magnet. I feel like it's like, be careful what it is that you're attracting. You can't say yes to everything. I don't know. That's what's coming through. Yeah, into the unknown. There's a sense of, do you know? Like, wait a minute. Time out. Pause. Pause. I feel like you're holding out for something. Um, or maybe you, you're like, uh, the, yeah, magnet, like magnetize. You're magnetizing things to you. You have to be really selective, discernment. Even this bird is like, wait a minute, pause. There's a little bird over her shoulder and says, wait a minute, pause, 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 pause. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Princess Jasmine where there are a lot of people who wanted to, to get her, you know what I mean? They wanted to um, court her and they were coming from far and wide and there are people that were like watching and they're like, choose from your heart, like pick the right partner for you and it might not be who you think it is. But even that, like even when Aladdin showed up, he wasn't himself, so it's like pause. Like yes, you can have the kiss, you know what I mean? Yes, you can have this, but just be very selective and then even in that selection, even like with who you select, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Even this, she's turning her head away. <laughs> He's like ready to kiss, and she's like, nah, I'm good, son. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, that's so funny. Watching the clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. Okay. Wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. This is a really interesting pile. Se oh my god. See? Seven of air. Yeah, it's not what it seems. Feelings. Let me let me read this. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me you something about that. You really can't surrender something. Why does that feel like seven of air? Someone needs to leave something. They're not. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. It's like, oh my God, pardon me. It feels like... I don't want to be cryptic, but this is what's coming through. It feels like, oh, I didn't realize the camera was. It feels like someone isn't surrendering something. They're hiding something. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. There really, there's a connection here. That's why she's pulling away, because she's like, I, I can sense that you haven't let this go. I can sense that this is still an addiction. I can sense that you're still talking to that person. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all of, oh my God. See, it's like, let go of it. Wow, I'm getting this sense that, wow. And with this card, this I'm feeling this really honestly. Emphasis on the word honest, right? Wondrous universe. It is the universe that is so wondrous because it truly is protecting you. It's like it's giving you these like red flags that say, wait, pause. Did, that was the first thing I felt, right? Remember? That was the first thing I felt, which is like, wait a minute. I, this is the very one thing that I want, but I can't because you haven't let go. And I can sense it. I can smell it on you. I can feel the truth. And the universe is so protective because the universe says it gives you signs. It gives you your intuition to be like, pause. Not all is what it seems. So until it is, lie back, rest, and relax. It really, I don't know why, it's giving me like Aladdin. That was the metaphor that just came through. Oh my God, I'm like blowing myself away right now. The metaphor was Aladdin, like Princess Jasmine. Like all of these people wanted her to give them a chance. And she was like, yeah, of course she would like love, but she also was like, this isn't fair. And all of these princes and kings or whatever would come through and be like, I'm looking for my princess and you're it. They would give her all of these things and she would turn her head away. Even the one who was for her, he was not presenting the truth of who he was. Ultimately, things worked out, but Seven of Air is here. Seven of Air is a Seven of Swords. Even this card, she's surrounded by all these geese. They're so loud. They're so obnoxious. Even like, okay, 
if you guys see this, there's all these geese, all these ducks, and then there's these two little angels above her, these two doves that are like, pause, listen. Even she, she would be lying to herself if she would, and deceiving herself. And you, you could even be deceiving yourself and being like, I don't feel what it is that I'm feeling. Yes, you are. Something about this, um, this just came through, the carnelian, which is a very sacral chakra. It's about listening to your gut, listening to your gut, heeding that call and being like, something's not right. And I would be lying to myself. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, hold on. Allow me, dear divine, see this wondrous universe. Like, I really feel like the universe is working on your behalf right now and you don't even... You can't even see it. Like, you wouldn't even realize it. And I'm getting this sense of, God, it's so, like, the universe is so looking out for us. It's ridiculous. Like, so much gratitude I'm getting from my heart for this. Like, after this reading, like, I want to go to my altar and be like, thank you. Like, thank you for looking out for me in the ways that I don't even realize that is that you're looking out for me. There's moments where I feel so disappointed. You know what I mean? Or there's moments where you feel disappointed. And it's like, it's actually a good thing. It's actually a good thing that, you know, it's so wondrous. Like, it's so amazing. It's so, like, meticulously perfect. Like, no, no detail, no tiny detail was missed by the universe. No tiny detail was missed by the divine. It's like, give gratitude for the fact that you're being protected. Like, give gratitude for the fact that, like, your feelings are telling you, like, this isn't right. Like, this isn't right. Like, something's not right. I can sense it. I can feel it. Yeah, your feelings. You can't really surrender to something until you deeply feel it. You have to really... So some of you guys, maybe it's not deception. It could be these things that you're turning your head to. You're turning your, way, turning your head away from for good reason. And you're confronting those things so that you can give yourself a chance. You can't really surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine universe, to offer all of my emotions to you feeling them fully so they can no longer hold me captive. I feel like this is a part of you stepping into your truth as well with the seven of swords here. And she's also wearing a mask. It's like she's trying to be like the geese. She's trying to be like these birds. It reminds me again of Aladdin because even he, like, he was like, oh, I'm a prince. Genie, make me a prince. And it's like you have to win this person, win this thing by being who you are. And you can't, oh, my God. That's just crazy to me right now. All right, so hardship. May I embrace what's happening right now? Wow, as painful, as baffling or as painful as it is. That's just like baffling. It's like, what? Why? Why? But that's the, the baffling part. There's something about the baffling part. Like, this is not what I deserve. This like blows my mind that this is what it is that I'm experiencing. Something about that is the actual gift. And I want to pick up the carnelian again. It's like this treasure. It's this sacral chakra tr treasure of this is not like you're even saying like this is not like I'm not I'm not deserving of this like exactly that's the point like you you know when people are like dating I always talk about dating in relationships because I see the relationship in everything but you know everything is a relationship like my relationship with you my relationship with my cards my relationship with my phone everything but you know when you're dating and you're like I, I haven't found the one. Like, I don't deserve to feel alone. I don't deserve to feel isolated. Like, I'm a good person. I have a good heart. And it's like, exactly. You don't deserve to be dealing with people that you sh they maybe shouldn't be, you shouldn't be giving them a chance. And the universe knows that. So in the meantime, lie back, rest, and relax because the universe is really trying to give it to you. And that's the wonder of it all. The same thing that's baffling you right now is the actual gift. It's the treasure. And the sacral chakra is about your value, your self-worth, your ability to do something, and your ability to receive at the same time. So it's like this hardship right now that is that you're experiencing. But it's the hardship that's baffling you. That's the truest gift that you have to give gratitude for because it's amazing. Yeah, ideas and inspiration. That's interesting that that came through. Wow, I was not expecting that. Body care. This gives me sacral chakra vibes again as well. Like while you're resting, lie back, rest, and relax. Give to your body. Take care of yourself. I feel like this thing, whatever this is that's baffling you, it's going to come find you just like Princess Jasmine. Yeah, Eight of Cups. See? But I'm really drawn to not what is being left here, not what's leaving and what's making you feel 
hardship, but it's the fact that you are the treasure. Like you have something <clears throat> of really incredible value that is being protected right now, right now. So really it's like treasure that really treasure it and take care of it. I feel like you need to hear more. There's a sense of, um, purification there's this cleansing there's um that's a part of the universe right now looking out for you is that they don't want you to just have just anybody they want you to because they realize how much of a treasure you are not to say that there aren't other people who are treasured but you know not everybody wants the same thing yeah king of earth this is someone who will see the worth and the value in it and not only protect it but they have the capacity to do it Yeah, they have the capacity to not only take care of you or to invest in you. Like, this could be an investor. This could be business. This could be work. This um, Also, health. This is someone who actually has what it takes in order to care for what in the way that it is that you deserve. Or maybe this could also be you stepping into King of Earth, you know, King of Pentacles type energy. I need a little bit more information here. Something that's standing out to me is the mushroom. As I'm okay, yeah, because there's some mushrooms that are poisonous, and there's some mushrooms that you can eat, and sometimes they look alike. So you can't just be walking around in the woods, in the into the unknown, picking up mushrooms, because you either be tripping your balls off. <laughs> like you really have to wait. It's like not that's so funny. You know, give your relationship a chance. Like no, it's like I don't know if I should. And when I see the card work on your partnership, it's at the very bottom of this, it's like really just kind of work on, just kind of watching things for a minute. I feel as though the same thing that's like like a disappointment is the same thing that's going to turn around. But it's just not ready yet. This card wants to come out. Justice. See? Justice brings all things to light, especially the Seven of Swords that says literally this person is not showing you their true face. But justice will take care of you. That is the infinite abundance and blessing and protection of the universe looking out for you. I want to focus on this watching the clouds. This could be something that's sneaking in your health. Like let's say you have something bothering your health from things that you've been eating and consuming. It's like I didn't realize that I had an allergy to this. And I've been eating it all along. So I don't know why that came through. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. I'm done. I'm done. I really, I just want to like do a full blown reading for whoever that picked this palette. I'm not trying to like market myself or anything like that, but I mean, it's just, I want to like dive into this more. I don't know why. I, things like this, I'm, <sighs> okay. Four of air is literally the card of rest. This is the card of rest, recuperate, relax, lay back, be easy. Four of swords. And also there's this level of protection that happens when you're resting. The hermit card. This is even more like, you know, sometimes with the hermit energy, to get those answers and to find out the truth that is hidden in the dark, you have to really disconnect. So that's what I'm seeing. And also, I can't notice, I can't avoid the, ignore the fact that it's a truth that's hidden behind doors right now. So something is being hidden. Something isn't being forthright. Something isn't being honest all the way. Two of Cups, and this card was reversed. So this could be... Um, you know, things that if you found out the truth of it, or it would create discord, it would create disharmony, it would create disconnection, separation. Um, maybe this is, again, truth within you that you have to kind of reconnect back into yourself, kind of rekindle back in with yourself, plug into the truth of who you are. But also, if this represents another person, I feel like if you knew what was going on behind the doors or if things weren't, it's just like pause for a minute. I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily a negative thing as much as it is. There's more to this than meets the eye. So give it time. And then two of pentacles is about allowing things to kind of really make themselves over time known. So you have to kind of juggle the status quo right now. Everything will make itself known. Everything will, you know, the truth will be revealed over time. But for right now, I don't feel like that's you. I just feel like you need to be very selective about what you're allowing yourself to consume a lot what you're putting in your energy field and just not saying yes to everything and I feel like you do know especially with the scales it's about kind of weighing it all out it's about weighing it all out first before deciding all right you guys even here she's not holding a scale but she's also holding the key I don't know if you could see that 
she's holding the key here. And with the hermit card, there's all these keys that are hung. So I'm just getting this sense of like, just be, be still right now. It's actually a gift that things aren't moving forward before their time. And in the meantime, just really watch your feelings, watch your intu intuition, and watch what you're allowing to be in your energy field, okay? Not everything is uh, Prince Charming right away. <laughs> some, some have to kind of step into their truth. And that's the other thing too, like if you look at the message of Prince Aladdin and Princess Jasmine, he was lying and deceiving her, but it did come from a good place and he had to step into his own truth. So maybe that's what's needing to happen here is the Hermit card and Floor of Swords. Like give it a rest, give it a break, and people will step into the truth of who they are. And same with you. All right, so the next card is, why am I doing that? I'm so sorry. Okay. I am getting a sense of time, 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 time. Tick, 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 tick. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. That sounded creepy when I said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Tick, 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 tick. That's what it feels like. It feels like, like that's the vibes that it is that I'm getting. Such a different reading, this card pull. Even as I'm sitting here, I just want to like, I feel like I'm lost in my thoughts. Like I'm journaling, um, like just having a quiet moment. Like I'm like, like sighing. I don't know. It's like someone who's like waiting for the, like you're okay. But it's like someone who's sitting, I don't know why I'm getting such young messages lately. Like the first pile was very childish. The second one was very teenager. The third is Princess and Aladdin and Jasmine, um, or Princess Aladdin. Prince, Al Prince Aladdin, or Aladdin and Princess Jasmine, whatever. And then this one, it's like a, someone in high school waiting for the bell to ring and they're just like, Okay, anyways, I'm sorry. Love doesn't have to be near. Some are better loved at a distance for a while anyway. That's why I was like, okay. And that's okay because besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Telly ho. So that's your card. The next card is rescue. Look at this. It's like even this like distance. It's like this person on the air balloon. That's my stomach um, grumbling, if you could hear it. There's a thing here that's standing out to me is this little rainbow. It's like you're watching something from afar, waiting, waiting for the bell to ring. Oh wow, come together. So you might be waiting for you and someone else to finally come together. It just feels like, all right. Oh my God. See, I love it when these things happen. See, worth waiting for. Didn't I tell you? I swear to you guys, I don't see these cards before, beforehand. I swear to God. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You're like waiting, you're waiting, you're watching. Like, come, 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 come. That's the card with rescue. It's like, it feels like you guys can't go to each other. Like, you can't come to each other. Even like 16 breaks down into seven. It's like, I'm waiting for alignment. I'm waiting for divine timing. Literally, divine timing. I'm waiting for the door to open. We've just been waiting, we've been waiting. We just, okay, okay, okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Interesting. Wow, my stomach is really loud right now. Creative blocks. Uh, yeah, if you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. You really have to like offer whatever it is that you're waiting for, whatever you're waiting to come in and rescue you and pull you up. It's like a blockage right now. It feels like a blockage. But I feel like it's also coming. We have the honeybee at the very bottom. And the honeybee finds the flower. It finds the honey. Regardless. Regardless. I don't know why, but the word was poison just came through which makes a lot of sense because we have pay attention to the red flags. So I feel like you, I don't know, maybe it's like the bee is poisoned. Maybe the bee is sick right now. Kind of like it's like save the bees right now. It's like, you know, there's these bees, like maybe the bees aren't coming because they're dead. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's not the best metaphor. It's just, there's, yeah, see, look, despair. The bee, whatever it is, look, and as the alarms go off in the background, I'll wait. So that's rescue. That's a rescue squad. It's like you're waiting for someone to rescue because something is sick. Something is ill. Something isn't right. 
So they have to get right. They're in despair. So balance, this is about taking care of and tending the things that are off balance. So it could be something that is needing of help. It could be something that needs, it could be you embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. Interesting. I feel like you is coming, finding sanctuary. That's the thing, sanctuary. Sanctuary is a space that is safe for you to heal, to be made right again that you feel at home, where you're safe. And I feel like that this right now, it's like there's some red flags, there's some things going on, some things that need to be restored first before it comes through, but it's worth it. It's worth waiting for it. And when it does, you'll be so excited. And even maybe in the sanctuary, you can find blessings in the current status quo. Because even this person here, they're in this, literally they're in this little sanctuary. I'm realizing that for the first time. They're in this little home and from the chimney of their home from their sanctuary is there's rainbows coming from there and that's healing, that's art, I'm seeing like art, creativity, music, having fun. And that thing, it knows that you're out there, it's coming to you, it senses, but you know, it still has to, okay, wow. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. This reminds me of pay attention to the red flags. I feel like everything has to come with divine timing. If it comes too soon, You'll, it'll be a collapse, it'll be a bad thing, it could be a failure. Queen of Water, this is about um, a woman or feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a woman, but it could be a man, really breathing in into the sanctuary space, finding healing, creativity, their heart, compassion for, them, for themselves. You know what I just heard? Compassion for the situation, compassion for all of what is making this what it is. I don't know why, but I just saw like spirit courts, like spirit courts just came through. And I feel like it's like, there has to be magic. So I'm feeling like you're using your energy to put prayers out, to not latch onto it and, you know, be like, have attachment, but to pray, to pray, to put healing energy out there to help this thing to navigate through the sticky waters that it is that it's going through. I feel like this thing is, um, it's seeing, whatever this is, it's seeing that, it's seeing the potential pitfalls, it's seeing the red flags, it's seeing the warning signs, so it's kind of waiting before it shows up, and that's actually a good thing. So in that, and it's also, I'm also getting the sense of it's preparing, it's getting itself right first before it shows up. Oh my god, look, retreat. Retreat into the sanctuary. It's finding balance again. Find, I'm also getting a lot of healing. Um, I'm getting like hospital vibes. Even this, these guys here, they're in the hot, they're like wrapped in white. I feel like it's because like it's healing. They need healing. They need divine intervention. So I'm feeling like if there is something here, pray, like pray over it. I'm getting the sense of like asking for miracles, asking for prayer and allowing that miracle to, to come in. Um, okay, three of C, three of fire, it's coming. It's coming. Whatever it is, it, it is on its way. It's worth waiting for, but I feel this sense of, we need a miracle. We need a miracle to help this. We need a miracle to get them strong. We need a miracle to help them have balance. Hold on, there's something about this. It's like, I need to see this first. What is this? What is this thing? What is it? Okay, that one wants to be known. I feel like I can't flip that over yet, okay? What is it? Okay, that was the full card that just jumped out. One more, please. What is it? <clears throat> like, I'm getting anxious. <clears throat> Not anxious, but I'm like, <clears throat> maybe you need to hear it, because why is my voice? <clears throat> yeah, oh my God. See, you have the star card reversed. It needs healing, it needs a miracle, it needs miraculous attention. Um, Hierophant is the one who performs the miracles. It's like a purification process. It's almost, <laughs> it's almost like, um, I don't know why my voice is, maybe someone needs their voice, like their throat chakra to be opened up. Maybe you need to hear the call. Maybe they need to have the, even this person, messenger of fire. It's like, you have your voice, you're speaking up, but you're like watching over your shoulder and you're not ready. They need to be awoke, awakened. They need to, it's like a baptism is what I'm getting, like healing waters, healing waters. It's like, what is it that they do in the church when they're like, um, you know, I don't know, it's like something that they like put their healing hands on them and like pushing them up. Like, <laughs> it's very like smack in the face, you know? 
there's like a baptism, a ritual, a purification process that needs to come from, you know, it's like healing waters, m miracle waters, um, holy water, like something like that. Like maybe you need to work with holy water. What is it that's being held on to? It's like, I'm not ready. Okay. Nine of earth. Yeah. Nine of earth reversed, nine of pentacles reversed and the fool card reversed. They're not ready yet. They need a miracle to help them to get ready. They need a, a miracle to help them to hear the call. They need a miracle to help them get all of their ducks in order. They need a miracle restoring balance. It's like the body or this thing, this, this thing has all the potential, but it needs help in strengthening. Queen of air, yeah. Five of air. Yeah, it's like we're our own worst enemies sometimes. I feel like someone needs to hear this specific. Five of air, so five of air is five of swords, queen of air is queen of swords. Someone needs like a specific, like a very specific attention, like very specific healing, very specific, um, I wouldn't even know what it is. I don't know why I just heard this, but I heard the word noise. Maybe they're hearing from other people that are, maybe they need quiet. Maybe there's things that are cautioning them and it's like, you need to cancel that out. Like, also the Hierophant is about the hospital. It's about, um, yeah, it's about going to hospitals, like going to, and if you're not sick or if someone else isn't sick, then this is about, you know, going to a higher power for help, creating an order for help. This reading, I'm sorry to say this, this is very specific. Oh, you know what I'm getting? Oh my God. This just came through. Um, the when I heard noise and the, I see the higher font, it's like when you go into a church or you go into a university, when you go into a hospital, it's like everyone keep your voice at a hush. Keep your voice at a minimum. There's like rules. This person, the healing needs to come from you being unafraid to break those rules so let's say this is a relationship it's like this person needs to learn how to be a rebel they have to disconnect from the rules the regulation to put all of that aside and it to them it's like detrimental that's why it feels like such a miracle because they need to be released from the confinement of boundaries rules regulations what they expect of themselves it's so detrimental and it's like, when I'm hearing the word noise, it's like, well, these are things that you don't do. You just know not to go into a church and talk loud or play music. That would be so fucked up. Like, that's so wrong, right? But that's what this person or that's what this thing is. It's like, it would be really wrong of me to do this. It would be really wrong, but it's like, no, it's actually right. That's why there needs to be a miracle here. And you need to have the confidence to be able to do it. It needs to, it needs to have a miracle. It's like it feels like the odds are stacked against you in order to get, yeah, strength. Like you really need strength right now. Like this person or you needs strength right now. This reading is very specific to a very specific thing. So it's, it's really tough for me to stay in this space. Even here, this fruit over her shoulder, it actually reminds me of um, like the devil. It reminds me of temptation. There's this like fruit. You know what I mean? This fruit. It could be forbidden. It's the thing that you're not allowed to have. You know what I mean? It's the thing that you're not supposed to do. And that's where it needs to kind of be... I don't know. That's a very specific message for someone. But that's where the miracle is coming from. Yeah, three of cups, three of air. It's heartache. Three of earth. Look at all the threes. Three of earth. It's like I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Do you have another three here? Maybe not. Oh, three of fire. Look, yeah, you have all of the threes. It's something that's going to come in, wants to come in, but it's very scared. It's very hurt. It's very suffering. But the eight of fire shows that it is going to come in. Eight of fire is eight of wands, but it needs strength. So whatever this is, I could really like shuffle and pull cards for this forever. I'm not going to, but it, um, you need to really put out there a miracle, like holy water is something or sacred waters or using water in order to make your own healing, healing energy in order to bless it. So maybe you take like um, a new moon, like today's a new moon, isn't it? 
I don't even know what day it is right now. I can't, my phone's, yeah, t tonight's the full, the new moon. But, um, yeah, blessing water for newness, blessing water for new journey to like help this person or help you to navigate through this space and bless yourself with water. Like maybe you need to be blessed as well. Both things, whatever this is, needs to be blessed. That's what it is that they're holding on to and give them strength. Call in for their strength. Call, call in for the rescue. Call in for the miracle because that's what it is that I'm seeing here. And it is coming in. It is coming through, but it just needs help. Look at this, you guys, look. There is a miracle here, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Worth waiting for. And they, they're literally wrapped in cloth. They're like little angels of the church. There's like despair. There's a blockage. That's why it needs to, you need to pray about it. You need to put it out there. All right, cool. I want to revisit this message really quickly. Love doesn't have to be near. It almost gives me like soldier, like soldier vibes, like protect them while they're out there. You know what I mean? Like protect them. Some are better loved at a distance. Maybe you're in despair and you're like, is this ever gonna come through for me? It's like, yeah, it just needs to be there right now. It needs to be over there. It needs to be in the hospital. It needs to be on the battlefield. It needs to be doing the work. It needs to be making, getting in trouble. <laughs> you know, there's some people that kind of have to go through that stage in their life. And meanwhile, it kind of reminds me again, this like, but love fixes everything. Like love is the greatest healer. It's the, it's like love knows no bounds. So call out for a miracle. It will help. It will help. I'm getting the sense of like a rebel, someone who has to kind of do things differently, speak up and kind of switch things up a bit, like switch things up, change it up. I really feel called to, if the universe was to give us, this is all of us though, this final message. And if you stayed to listen to this message, it is for you. Because not everyone listens to the end timestamps. So if you are actually the small percentage that listened to this for you, like listen, it is for you. And I'm setting the intention that not everybody hears this message if it's not for them. This one is specific. If the universe was to give you gifts right now, something to help you, something to uplift you, what would that gift be? Don't look at it before it's time, you guys. <laughs> Divine timing. Give me a moment. Do one for me. Okay. If the universe was to give you anything right now, a specific small selection of people who are supposed to receive this, because not everyone's supposed to receive it, the bouquet would be, oh wow, oh my god. What? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, I just feel like this is so beautiful. Okay. The rose. Open your heart to love. Open your heart, red rose. Your potential for great love rests. Some of you guys are needing to really rest right now in opening your heart. Blockages, so the obstacles, the barriers, the wounds, these things that you're like, I'm never gonna be made better from this. This is gonna be, this is impeding me from receiving this desire. This is repeating me from the new. No, it's not. It's being healed right now. You need to like really put a miracle over your heart you know what I mean? Pull it, put a miracle of the situation. Believe that miracles do happen. This literally, I literally set intention that whoever hears this, it's a small percent, percentage. This is the people who need to hear it. They are the ones to receive it because they are about to receive it. So I'm calling in a miracle over your heart. I'm calling a miracle over all of the things that is that your heart truly has been wanting, that you've been loving and desiring, not from a space of lust, but from a space of divineness. You know what I mean? divine love. I'm setting the intention that all blockages, all this wound, all this pain, suffering, struggle, the obstacle, the opposition, all of that be removed and it be healed. That the path be made clear. That the path be made true. That the path be made obvious and there. Like there's the potential. Not only the potential, but it's going to happen. Yeah. And you'll be met with the true passion you seek. That 
the bolder you are, the more that you're said, this thing that you're like, this bold request that you're making to the universe, to the divine, that it be met with a yes, a resounding yes. And not only something that's not going to make you happy, but it's going to fulfill the entire picture for you. It's going to be right and true for you. And I ask that that be something that you receive right now. Literally open your heart to receive it. That's what I'm setting the intention for. This new idea, this new thing. Yes. There's this newness in you. I'm setting the intention that there's newness, new energy in you, this new potential, new life, and it's not meant to be just yours. It's meant to be shared. It's meant to be a gift. It's a blessing. It's good. It's right for you to share and should be able to share the blessing of who you are with, with people that deserve it. And I've really called in that there's people that are around, yeah, continue to work on it as you are on the right path. I'm setting the intention that everything that is for you, that it meets you along the way now or maybe in divine timing, but I'm really feeling like, you know, open your heart to receiving this. Open your heart to connecting to newness. Open your heart to the newness that you are now, that is the embodiment of who you are. Let everything be divinely guided throughout the obstacle, no matter what the obstacles are, no matter what the opposition that they find you, they meet you. Smile, the sunflower. Simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference that it makes. I set the intention that this thing that it makes you happy, that this ex extra blessing that is coming through, that it's literally, it's there to make you so happy. It's going to make you so happy. It's going to feel like such a gift. You're going to be able to enjoy it. You're going to be able to feel the sunlight that it brings into your life. It's going to be nourishing to you. It's going to be fulfillment to you. It's going to bring fulfillment to you. Eucalyptus, open your arms to receiving. You've prayed for help. Now be open to accepting it. Allow yourself to open up to this newness and smile at it. Smile with it. Have joy and pleasure. Eucalyptus is about cleansing, purification. So anything that's been released, you know, let it be cleansed right now. Let it be right. Let it be good. Let it be made clean again, made pure so that you are able to receive and that it's good that it's coming through because it's already gone through the purification process. It's already gone through the fire. It's already been cleansed. Wow. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> okay, so I pulled past life healings, so some, some things probably from the past have been uh, coming into the present. That makes a lot of sense <laughs> for me. This situation has been triggered by one of your past lives. Heal the past and you bring healing to the present. So that's what it is that I'm seeing for me as well. Okay, come through with the messages. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Um, literally, this is such a blessing, the space that we're able to hold for each other. And I hope that your message <clears throat> helped you. <clears throat> wow, I'm still getting like third chakra stuff coming, coming up, so that's good. Um, yeah, and I just, you know, it's a new moon at the time of me filming this. Maybe that's why I should do it. That's why I felt called to do it. But I hope that you're blessed. Franklin is staring at me because he wants to go poopy. <laughs> so if you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please make sure that you are subscribed because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.